So a little more than a week ago, Shannon Hale posted a blog, which John Green then responded to, which is how I got a hold of it. Both the blogs, in essence, are talking about what it means to be a reader, and more, what it means to be a reviewer. And as I said in my last video, I have a pretty broad definition of what it means to review something. I take review by its literal definition, to look at something again, and so anytime I'm giving something a second look and talking about it, then that is a review. And so the things that I choose to talk about are going to change from book to book, depending on what jumped out at me. But there are a lot of different things that I consider when I'm reviewing a book. Anytime somebody writes something, they have a reason for doing so. And I think it's important for us as readers not only to glean that purpose, but also to kind of figure out how they manage to accomplish that purpose. Which is part of what I do with my book reviews. I find out what techniques were used to accomplish the purpose of the book, and I figure out how well they worked, and if they're really, really cool, then I geek out about them. I think it's safe to say that the way that I read has changed considerably over the last few years. Most especially in the last two. It's weird to think that I went through all of high school and I went through all of college and I took all of these literature courses and the place where I finally learned how to really read critically and analytically was the internet. Shannon Hale talks about how a lot of book reviews lately have become more like just rating. You know, the Siskel and Ebert thumbs up, thumbs down, or the rate out of five stars, that sort of thing. That's kind of what a lot of book reviews have become. And personally, I never liked rating things. Like, I never liked trying to figure out how many stars out of five or out of ten to give something. However, I do think that personal perception is a really big part of book reviewing. Liking a book is just as important as recognizing that a book has value. And the two are not always interchangeable. I can't honestly say that I enjoyed reading Catcher in the Rye, but I do recognize that the book has considerable value as a work of literature. And some would say that whether or not we like a book, whether or not we enjoy reading a book is irrelevant, but I disagree. I think it's important for us to recognize that we enjoy something, but more, I think it's important for us to recognize why we enjoy something. Which is the whole reason why I started this favorite books review thing. I wanted to figure out why these books that I had called favorites were called that. Why did I like these books? What made me want to pick up these books and read them again and again and again? And so there are two things there. Did we like the book? Did we enjoy it? And why? And also, did the book accomplish its purpose? And did it accomplish it well? And how did it accomplish it? And I would also add a third point to book reviews, which is, is that purpose that the book was trying to accomplish worth it? And again, that's personal perception. Like, I really do not like the message of the Twilight books. But that message, if it was indeed Stephanie Meyer's purpose in writing the books, was portrayed very well. I don't think it's a message that has any real value. In fact, I think it's a very damaging one, but that's just me. And several people disagree with me, and that's fine. Book reading and through that book reviewing is just as much about the person reading the book as it is about the book itself. Because just as books are unique, readers are also unique, and we bring our own unique perspectives to the books. Which is kind of why I don't like books that try to shove messages down your throat with little room for interpretation. I think that spoils the whole idea of storytelling. In closing, I'm going to answer these questions that Shannon Hale posted on her blog for people who review books. And I would invite people like I Am The Bookie, Galara Loth, Ghostwritten87, and anyone else who reviews books on YouTube or in blogs to also answer these questions. Do you find that the anticipation of reviewing the book has changed your reading experience? Yes, in fact, that is what has forced me to read more analytically and more critically, knowing that I'm going to be talking about them on here and knowing that I should probably know what it is I'm talking about. Are you rating the book even as you read, or do you wait until the end to sum it all up? Usually about midway through a book, I'm already kind of writing the review in my head. I do try to wait until I finish the book before I try to base an opinion on them. I don't always succeed, but I do try. Does knowing you'll be reviewing it or rating it publicly affect which books you pick up in the first place? Well, obviously with the favorite books review, I'm reading very specific books. But for Vlog Driver, I really just kind of pick up the books that I would read normally, so... No, not really. Does the process of writing the review itself change how you felt about the book? Oftentimes, yes, because I find that when I'm writing something down, I'm able to put thoughts there that I wasn't really able to formulate just in my head. 
And so yes, that will help shape my opinion, and in some cases, with the Favorite Books review, I haven't actually made the decision of whether or not it's still a favorite until after I've written the review. What is your motivation to assign a rating to a book and declare it to the world? The only real rating system I use is, is it a favorite or not? I have occasionally stated degrees of favorites, for example, There's a Boy in the Girl's Bathroom became one of the top five. But in general, it's just a binary thing, favorite or not. And this is really purely personal opinion. Oftentimes I'm able to recognize the value of the book, but I just didn't enjoy it as much this time around. And really, with only one exception, all of the books, whether they're still favorites or not, are good books that I would encourage you all to read. The only real exception to that is Slave Dancer. What do you feel is your role as a reviewer? What I try to do as a reviewer is just to find something that I find interesting in the book and share it. And so I feel like my role as a reviewer on here is to call attention to those things that are really, really, really cool about books and storytelling and help you all to read more critically and to find those things and to enjoy them as well. And I have in fact gotten a few comments on book reviews saying, huh, you know, I've never actually looked at it that way before. And that ultimately is what I'm trying to do, get you to look at something in a different way. The prevailing opinion seems to be that blocking spot number one was the best, and I personally agree with that, which is why I put the pictures up there in the first place. I will still be using the bookshelf background for book reviews because, I mean, that only makes sense. And very few people liked vlogging background number three, so apologies to those few of you who did. I'm probably not going to use it unless I'm feeling particularly lazy. Key to the Golden Firebird will be up within the next couple of days, so until then, happy reading. See you later.